scam alert and Henrico resident wants to make sure you stay alert for phone scams after he almost fell for one himself where the caller was impersonating his daughter. Now at 11, Desiree Montilla is joining us now live with more about his experience, Desi. Franklin, this Henrico resident who did not want to be identified found out this was a scam before any money was exchanged. Tonight, he is urging people to stay alert about who may be on the other line. The original phone call was so authentic. I mean, it was like from an accident scene. There were sirens going off. This was the phone call one Henrico resident who wished to remain anonymous received last Friday from someone claiming to be his daughter. And that she had been in an accident. Her nose had been broken and she had been arrested because she was using her phone. And the phone call was coming from a police officer who then got on the phone and explained the situation. After the exchange, the resident says he was passed on to a public defender. Introduced himself, uh, it sounded very convincing and that there was a, you know, I could bail her out she was going to be incarcerated and I could bail her out. A bail the resident says was ultimately set to $5,000. And this person calls my wife back and says, well, they're going to send a courier to come get the money. And that would speed up the process. In these moments, the resident heard back from his daughter and found out it was all a scam. I was very angry, of course. Um, embarrassed. You know, I felt like I had been taken. I felt bad because of because of I fell for the scam. I, I got other people involved and got them all upset, ruined their day as well. This is one of the several imposter scams the Better Business Bureau wants people to be aware of. If you do get a call like this, the BBB urges you to stay calm, resist the urge to act immediately, and verify information before you send any money. There was plenty of red flags, but you just have to. Um, Remain calm and, and, and think. Tips this resident echoes to make sure you don't fall victim. They get some kind of a phone call like that that they need to follow up. I mean, all I really had to do was call my daughter. But the whole idea of the, the phone call was to get you in such distress that you're not thinking clearly. The BBB also encourages you to be aware of what your family and friends are posting, as well as to double check those privacy settings to make sure scammers are not taking your personal information. Live in Richmond tonight, Desiree Montilla, 12 on your side. Thank you.